Okay, let's let's hope this is the right cave. Although I don't understand how we're gonna make it inside. Now oh, let's see, uh I'm gonna keep a record on my of my time working on the Skyview Tower in the Guardo Highlands. Day one, we arrived at the site, started construction. Unfortunately, a heavy snowstorm blew it, blew in as soon as we started. We had to stop and take shelter in a nearby cave. Good news, the cave is warm and safe. We decided to use it as our base camp for the rest of the project. Day three, the cave is bigger than any of us could have imagined. We explored inside by following the water downstream. When we were deep in the cave, we heard a hammering. I don't know how a sound from outside made it that far. We'll investigate tomorrow. Day six. Wasn't it just day four? We missed day five. What happened to day five? Here are some highlights from the cave investigation report. The cave continues all the way under the Skyview Tower. The tower's weight may be a problem. We should build a reinforcement in the cave so it doesn't sink. Day 10. Oh yeah, we definitely are skipping days. When the tower is done, it was a breeze with Pura's clever design and the skillful prep work by Hudson Construction. All of that legwork kept on site assembly, simple and efficient. Since we may end up using the site again, we decided to leave some materials in the cave. First thing I'll do when I get off this mountain is have a warm bowl of soup. Where is she? Come on. Stop it. Okay, so let's make a little... little raft here. I guess technically we don't even need a fan. Okay. Oh, I should have picked the big one. I guess a fan would be nice. I can open the overworld maps to navigate the depths. Yeah, that that has been pretty useful for us in certain in certain instances. Wonder if that frog died. Okay. Still haven't found the person that is going to give us a prize for that. When we do, it's going to be a good time since we found so many of them. 21. Wonder if there's anything behind the waterfall. Ooh. Definitely not something I was expecting. I guess there really is something behind the waterfall. I was kind of just joking. I mean, Zelda is notorious for things behind waterfalls, but... I really wasn't expecting it. Oh, the tower must be right here. I was like, for a second, I was a little confused. I was like, we're at a dead end. Oh, we're screwed. Ooh, how did we get that extra stamina back? That's very interesting. How does that keep happening? I have no idea how we got our stamina back twice. Let's hope that's just good enough. Nope, I figured we needed to be, you know, on that piece of wood. Or on that little... That center beam there. Or, like, in between, obviously. 
Oh, shit. I think we screwed this up. We gotta do it again. Nothing behind Waterfall and Elden Ring. Except Biffa River. Yeah, definitely a missed opportunity. Or they just didn't want to be like Zelda. Let's... It's gotta be right in the center. Thank you for that. Uh, kind of sucks. Okay, so let's put. Nope, nope, nope. I didn't want to do that. Why is it so hard? I can't believe how difficult this is. No, no. Once again, up here. Let's see if we can do it on planning. This might be kind of difficult, but... Alright, so... Uh, move it like that. Definitely got to use that, uh, that recall more often. Okay, perfect. That's actually a fun one to get into. That one's actually kind of strange. I wonder... What way? I mean, obviously that worked, but I'm wondering like what they expect you to do to use to get in there. I mean, cause the you know that 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 river or whatever that stream, it's got a pretty strong current. So I guess maybe you can time it and kind of just make your way in there or you have to like make some large you know wooden surface uh, to uh, be able to stand in the right spot but I think I mean that worked plenty well okay so it's now that we're done with this, let's get that geoglyph. Okay. There's a huge ball in the sky in this area. Very strange. Very strange. Let's see. Oh, is that another, uh, like another one? I don't think we got that one. Let's get the, you know, that one over there for, for now. There it is. Let's hope we can find this one. Hopefully let's get, we can get close enough as well. This is where having more stamina is actually pretty useful. Now that I think about it, getting some stamina probably would have been helpful for uh, gaining more distance. Now this one's got to be like on a flat surface, right? 
But I imagine it's gotta be somewhere on top. Hopefully. Oops. A shrine of light nearby. Oh, look at that. You can see the lightning temple from all the way over here. Looking at it from over here, it just seems so damn close. But it took us forever to get up here. Oh my god. This one's going to be hard to find if it's not on some flat surface. But I think just to make this easier... Let's place this here so we can just teleport back and just get another go at it. There's no way it can be on like on a vertical surface like that. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Didn't take us that long. Didn't even need uh, the you know, the temporary, uh, tra or the travel medallion. Let's watch this cutscene. We haven't seen a, a memory in a long time. Wonder where it's going to be placed on the timeline. We can usually tell pretty pretty instantly allow me to offer you my deepest apologies this must be pretty early on, on behalf of the Gerudo Gerudo for taking so long to accept your repeated invitations it is our desire to be accepted into the protective embrace of your kingdom to serve it faithfully a welcome appeal Ganondorf I will accept your vow of fealty to the Kingdom of Hyrule. I understand that a single male is born to the Gerudo every 100 years. Receiving such an appeal from you, a hero to his people and a king by birth, well, it is truly reassuring. It is my honor. When your Zonai ancestors first descended upon these lands long, long ago, they must have seemed to be gods. And now you rule as king, and have taken a Hyrulean woman as your wife. <coughs> your majesty has certainly risen above your admirable lineage. Most impressive. Hmm. It is unfortunate that the noble Zonai no longer grace this world with their presence. All except you and your sister, that is. And Even her... if something were to happen to me, both my kingdom and the peace it brings, these will endure for generations to come. <laughs> your actions today are appreciated, Ganondorf. I look forward to your future endeavors. You may leave. Your Majesty. If only he could hear the music we're hearing. King Roru. I believe that man's heart holds many dark ambitions. Just his name. Even that, it gives me pause. I am well aware of his evil nature. For that reason, and others, I want him close. It will be easier to keep an eye on him. <laughs> there is nothing to worry about. Okay. I don't know why I didn't even realize Sonia was a, uh, uh, a Herulian, Vita Corleone. 
All that was missing was Ganondorf kissing his hand. <laughs> I love the Godfather. Hell, I might watch it tonight. After the stream. I haven't seen it in a while. I watch it at least once a year. Oh, interesting. Directly right after the assault. You like the third one as well? That's one I haven't watched in a while. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's not as good as the first two, but if you compare it to what you see nowadays, not even close. I mean, I've said this multiple times, but I don't really watch a lot of movies nowadays. And if I do watch a movie, it's probably something I've already watched. And old. When it comes to watching stuff in the theater, not many movies. I think the last... I mean, there were two movies that came out quite recently that I want. I actually wanted to watch, but I just didn't end up going because I got lazy. And uh, that was the Super Mario movie and John Wick. But like, I mean, John Wick is technically the only, I mean, I guess Super Mario Brothers is a movie. But it's like more, I guess it's an animated movie, right? And um, the last two movies I watched in, in theater were also animated. I watched uh, One Piece of Red, which was amazing. And uh, that Dragon Ball, you know, movie that came out in theaters quite recently. So if it, you know, if you just talk about movies... You know, I don't even remember the last time, the last one I watched in the theater. You know, if you don't count animated movies. This was another, that was another memory. So let's go check that out. John Wick any day, baby. I watched the first three in uh, preparation for the fourth one, and then I just never ended up watching the fourth one. Like movies like Mulholland Drive or Cube. I've never heard of any of those movies. <laughs> But that's not too surprising. It's not like a movie connoisseur. Like I said, a lot of the movies I watch are uh, movies I've seen before. Enemy 2011. Nope, oh, I haven't watched that either. Or even heard about it. Ooh, I wonder what this is about. I don't think I've been up here. Jake Gyllenhaal movies are was great. Yeah, I have nothing against them. I don't really look for his movies though. I mean. Have I watched Logan? I don't think so. Wasn't that... Wasn't that like Wolverine or something? Courage Island. Yeah, I really don't watch that many movies. Come on, center it.
I am definitely a fan of uh, Wolverine, that's for sure. Like, and like, don't get me wrong, just because I haven't watched the movie doesn't mean I think it's bad or anything. I'm just, I don't know. There's just so many bad movies that I just, you know, gave up on giving any of them a chance. And, um, really don't even want to waste my time. Even if the movie's good, I'm just kind of... I'd much rather, like, play a game, to be honest. I have a much better time with it. Not that the movie's uh, bad or anything. Most definitely good movies. And uh, Logan definitely seemed like a good one. Although, I guess when it comes to superhero movies, I don't really care for them either. They seem a little predictable. Even more predictable than usual. Oh, the Wolverine has always been fun. Oh, but you said it's not a superhero flick? Well, that's good. Ooh, a lot of portable pots. It's nice to be able to stock up. Oh, I actually have, I actually have quite a bit of portable pots. Okay, I guess let's do this shrine since we activated it. But after that, let's go to that memory. Honey shrine. I wonder if this is going to be one of those uh, proving ground ones. Usually these seem to be proving ground ones. Nope. We still got our gear. Oh, it's, well, it's similar combat training. Did I miss like arrows? The shrine purifies the ancient evil. You have entered here, heed my instructions. Draw your bow in midair to heighten your senses. Focus, target your enemy with an arrow and release. Your other attacks are inefficient here. Ready yourself. Well, this will be easy. It'd be nice if they gave me some arrows. Oh, there we go. Probably didn't need to do three of them. Well done. Oh, do I have to shoot all three now? Take aim and defeat the enemies. Oops, missed one. Thanks for coming to the stream, noob. I'll see you around. Have a good day. That was a fairly easy uh, shrine. It's nice to have one of those every once in a while. Oops, I didn't want to drop that one. Actually, I didn't even see this third bow here. I'll take it. Zonite's sword. Let's see, is there anything I want to drop? Yeah, let's drop this. Why not? And... I mean, that's about to break. Oh, right there. Don't need a fan anymore. 
How much even are these? Six. I forget if these can be, uh, be used. Sword and sword. Oh, it turned into, like, sword sword. I thought maybe it would turn into a long sword. I guess not. Yeah, why not? The Rusty Claymore Sword. That's kind of weak. I can't believe it's still rusty, even after that fuse. Quick shot. Um, these are all fives. Didn't realize they're fives. I thought they were. I'm like, give me my bows back then. I thought these were 30 for some reason. I guess I got confused between, uh,. The construct bow and the strong construct bows. I guess it makes sense. This was an easy shrine. Not gonna give us good stuff. Oh nice. That's that's number four. I can actually get some stamina now. But first, uh let's make it to this memory. Oh, this, I don't think this dude was out here. What are you doing? Welcome. This is the site of a ceremony to test your courage. Courage is demonstrated by diving headlong through the sky. No challengers have visited this island in a long time. I'm glad you have came. No witness your dive earlier. You seem to have come prepared. Now then, let us commence with the dive ceremony. Are you prepared? Could it be that you do not know of the dive ceremony? My apologies. Allow me to explain. The dive ceremony is a, is a trial that tests your courage. It is the right by which Zonai youth come of age. The starting position is the Sky Island, far above here. The challengers leap. From there, they must pass through all the rings in a set, of, set amount of time. I wish you luck in formally, formally overcoming the trial. Those who succeed receive a special outfit to mark adulthood. Go on, show me your courage. Ah, uh, I perhaps forgot to mention one thing. I require one Zonai charge as an offering. Our custom since long ago has been for participants in the ceremony to offer a Zonai charge to the island. No Zonai charges have been provided for many years. We are in short supply. Her cooperation would be appreciated. Alright. Am I actually going to get some gear? Then follow me to the starting position. Your task is to pass through all the rings in 35 seconds or less. Oh, this will suck if I, have to, if I fail enough to keep giving them Zonai charges. I wonder if we need to glide. And gliding just screws me up. Not bad. I definitely can't glide for very long. See if we actually get something nice. 29 seconds. That counts as a success, though not by much. Damn. Don't need that backhand compliment. I have here the mark of your maturity. You have earned this. Glide shirt. 
Hmm. You have completed the ceremony, but you must not settle for mere completion. Continue to apply yourself and aim for a aim to beat our fastest recorded time of 20 seconds. I guess let's try it. I wonder what you get. Man, that's much faster. I guess we're going to have to actually dive to get that time. Let's see if we get anything for it. Kind of hard. Because you can't really dive. Hold on. Let's put on that gear. See what that that does for us. I don't really know what it's going to do though. So let's... Uh... Although I guess this isn't technically diving, but... And I wonder if there was another robot like this. Because this is like the second time we went through those rings to open up a... To open up a shrine like this. I wonder if the, the robot popped up in the other place as well. And we just didn't see it. Ooh, bird. Oh, my meat. I don't see any other birds, unfortunately. 